Tell me a little bit about your dad. Where do I begin? You know, dads are dads. <laughs> so he always just teaches me to be honest and be a good person. He's just so thankful and he loves life. I couldn't have asked for anybody better. And he put a roof over my head too. One of the strongest men I've ever met. And you're a hard-working spirit because we all carry that with us. He taught me how to persistently strive in order to achieve excellence. You know, everybody has a superhero. People say that like, their hero is like Obama or like Superman or whoever, a celebrity. But I always say my hero is my dad because he, the, no, nobody could compare to my dad. Nobody can, so he's my hero. If I go back to China, I guess like, uh, like the first thing is like hug him, uh, ask him to tell me another joke, and like, we just like laugh together, that would be fun. Every good thing about me, I owe straight, it comes straight from my dad. Ever since we lost him, life has not been the same since he's been gone. Music doesn't sound as nice, food doesn't taste as good. I do love him. Thank you for loving me. And I see I love him a lot that I cannot even count. I can't even express how thankful I am for him. So I love very much my dad, and like everybody does, and I miss him a lot. Sometimes I dream a lot about him, but he's done whatever he could for me. There's that old adage, it takes one to know one, and I realized that I was a good father because I had a good father.